Hey, I'm Lydia with Reef Runner Dive and Spearfishing, and this is my buddy Emma, and today we are gonna practice putting on free diving wetsuits. So what brought you in to see me today, Emma? So I've previously had scuba diving and surf wetsuits that have been, been really easy to put on, and I've heard that there are a lot of differences with the open cell free diving suits. So can you tell me about that? Yeah, so the big difference is that with your other wetsuits, you're probably gonna have zippers that are gonna make it super easy to get in and out of. Open cell free diving wetsuits are uh, slick and gummy, and so we generally use lube to get in and out of them. And women have added challenges to getting in and out of them because of the speed bump and because of our hair getting tangled up and stuck right. and rolled up in the stupid thing. <laughs> so I'm really glad that you came in while I was here so that I could kind of go over some of those tips and tricks with you. Mm -hmm. So let's get you into a suit. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we just grabbed a couple of different suits for Emma to try on. I want you to feel this and really kind of get a feel for how okay. spongy and gummy it is. The yeah. cool thing about- Super stretchy. Yeah. The cool thing about these open cell wetsuits is that they come in a two piece. So um, the pants are easier to get on. Just pull them on like pantyhose very right. carefully. The tops are gonna be a lot harder to get on. Here's another example of that same open cell uh, wetsuit. This one has nylon on the outside instead of this slick kind of free diving material. Um, but you can see again, this is gonna be like raw rubber on your hair, ripping every single hair out of your head. <laughs> right. <laughs> so we're gonna see how we can do that together today without that happening. We have a um, shower here at the uh, shop because you need to be wet to put these on. So we're gonna get at it. Okay. Okay, so we decided to both go for it. Um, we both already have our pants on. That's kind of the easy part. It's like right. putting on pantyhose. But mm -hmm. even that, if you're not really well lubricated. Gotta get it wet, mm -hmm. gotta get the soap. The baby shampoo is one of the best things. Mm -hmm. So the next step is gonna be to get our hair up. Okay. Because remember I mentioned that that um, rubber on your hair is just gonna render you bald. <laughs> <laughs> so um, the steps for getting your wetsuit top on are gonna be arms, head, and then the rest of it. Okay. So all we're worried about really is getting our arms in and our head out. Okay. So we're gonna put our, our arms suit in. all wet and lubed up. Awesome. Say that's very important. We also want to make sure that this beaver tail is on the outside because that's what's going to help us pull it down our backs. Okay. Less of a big deal than getting your arms in and this thing over your head. Mm -hmm. Go for it. You got this. Woo! Gotta take a deep breath. Say some prayers. That's right. Oh, you got it. That was awesome. So I like to put my hand in the head so that I know exactly where the opening is. Okay. I don't want to get lost in here. Mm -hmm. So and get this lead out. Yep. Take me down. Yeah. Success. Oh, we're getting there, girl. <laughs> yeah, I get that leading edge yep. and just work it down. Definitely the tail, tail is very helpful. Yep. And the back just helps to straighten everything out. Yep. All right, and Emma has the clipping one and mine is Velcro. So you get it down and then just sling that beaver tail up and through. And you are ready to rock and roll. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so got the whole suit. You look awesome. You look great. Okay. This is definitely the right size for you. Mm -hmm. And when you get in the water, you can kind of burp the neck and it okay. will put more water in there and make Loosen it just kind it of slick onto you the best way. Okay. Um, so yeah, now we have to get out of these. Okay. This is also terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> so again, we want a stepwise way to do it. So okay. we want to go over the speed bump, get one arm out, get your head out and then you're good. Okay. What you do not want to do is find yourself in the position of trying to take this off over your head and get trapped in there. Okay, So to know. Get your beaver tail ready to go and we're gonna go over the speed bump and then just struggle, struggle, struggle. get out get of it. it up. Get one shoulder out and then get one arm out and then you can get your head out. Okay. Okay. Over the you speed bump. This. That's right. One arm, one arm. Go for it. One arm out. Yep, getting stuck. <laughs> you got this. There. I was gonna help you, but I don't want to help you because I want you to be able to do it. And then. Nice. 
Yay! Right right over. Over. <laughs> Freedom! Freedom. You crushed it. <laughs> All right, Emma, so it's pop quiz time. Okay. So how do you get in and how do you get out? So getting in, you're gonna want to, first of all, lube it up. So get yourself wet and get your suit wet and then get some baby shampoo or any type of lube that you have and really lather it up. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna wanna go arms first and then get it over your head. Make sure you get the beaver tail in the back to pull it down and then clip it. And then when you're getting it off, you get over the speed bump. Speed bump. Wiggle it up some more, get one arm out and then rush to freedom get the head out and then there you go beautiful <laughs> <laughs> so again i'm lydia and this is emma and we're at reef runner dive and spear fishing we're really excited about women getting into this sport so please come ask us questions no question is dumb we're just really excited about getting out on the water with some other women